Hi, I'm Christy Ross. I love green salads, and I especially love pasta salads. So today, I'm combining the two to create Greek pasta and garden salad for a refreshing meal on a hot day or a potluck supper. There's something in this salad for everyone. Let's start with the vinaigrette. I whisked together three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, two cloves of garlic minced, kosher salt, freshly ground pepper, and three quarters cups of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to pour this in slowly while I whisk. And then in the meantime, I already prepared one 16 ounce box of fusilli pasta according to package directions. And I have that chilled here. I'm going to pour half of this mixture over the pasta. Get some of that good garlic in there and reserve the other half. Now I stir in one large cucumber that I peeled and seeded and chopped. One third cup of sweet onion, Kalamata olives, and two tablespoons of capers, which I drained. And just stir this all together. I have a large platter with romaine and red leaf lettuce and spring mix and I've left a well in the center. This is where the pasta goes. This is called a composed salad. I'm not stirring everything together. I'm artistically arranging it. Mmm, pretty. Next, I garnish the greens with chopped red bell pepper, nice and sweet and very colorful, julienne carrots, so these are like little matchsticks. And I try and keep most of it on the salad greens. Quartered artichoke hearts. Mm, so, so beautiful. And lots of beautiful textures too. Now I like to take the little cherub tomatoes and put them around the perimeter of the pasta. Lovely. Okay, like I said, this is something for everyone. Then I have red onion rings. I just put these over the pasta primarily, and then a few over the salad greens. Feta cheese, and this is crumbled. And I will put a lot of this over the pasta, and then a little bit over the greens. Give this good seasoning with freshly ground pepper. And finish off by taking the reserve vinaigrette and drizzling this over the greens like this. And a little bit over the pasta. And there you go. This Greek pasta and garden salad is headed to a neighbor's home this evening for a progressive dinner, but you can make it on a much smaller scale for a family meal or dinner for two. Take care, make some joy.